Are you okay? Yeah. I guess we just both got carried away. I guess we did. You know, Brooke, it just... It just does something to me seeing the stress you're under. It's like you're, you're in the middle of a forest and you're lost and you're, you're yelling for help and no one can hear you. It is incredibly frustrating. Liam and I, and you, we all know the kind of person that Thomas is. He's a manipulator. He hasn't changed. He has the whole family snowed, especially Ridge. Now, if Thomas wants to prove otherwise and go ahead and marry Zoe... Thomas isn't gonna go through with any wedding. He's just using Zoe and Douglas to get the hope. I know, it's horrible the way he uses his own son. And he's shoving Zoe down his throat. And he's playing on the fears of his little boy. He's afraid that he's gonna be losing yet another mother. And he takes that straight to hope. She is his safe place. Is she falling for it? It does bother her to see the distress that Douglas is under. And that's what Thomas wants, so yeah, I guess what Thomas is doing is working in a way. I'm sorry, bro. I hate that you feel like no one is listening. You're so alone. Well, I'm not alone right now. You're here. You're listening to me. For that, I'm grateful. You don't know what it feels like to have somebody else believe me, believe what I'm saying about Thomas. You know you can count on me if you need anything. Bill, you and I have been through a lot. I mean, we have a, a connection and a history. But we both made commitments. I mean, I made a promise to Ridge, and you made a promise to Katie. And it's going to stay that way. Agreed? Agreed. <laughs>